What is up guys? It is Christ. We are back with another video. This is another Slipknot video and one of the last ones that we're going to be doing on this channel until um, the new album drops. What's up guys? It is Christ and welcome back to one of the final Slipknot Saturdays for the time being and the sort of transition into Stone Sour Saturday. Um, now, I don't know if I'm going to um, go full Stone Sour. We'll see how it goes. If it looks like it's getting tons of positive reactions and tons of positive um, views and stuff, then I will continue it. But if not, um, I may just finish up the rest of the Slipknot songs and um, and use this day for something else. Because um, ultimately, I got to start going with uh, with what's getting uh, lots of uh, lots of attention. And if Stone Sour doesn't get like say 20 views a video, like obviously I can't keep doing that. But um, We'll be checking out um, Stone Sour's Orchid today, I believe it was called. That was one of the only ones suggested. In fact, I think it was the only one suggested. So, without further ado, we're going to be checking out Eeyore. I have not forgotten about Iowa. Um, that That's the 15 minute long song. I believe I'm going to close out um, Stone, I mean, Slipknot Saturdays with that song. Um, at least for the time being. Uh, so, that's probably going to be the last one I react to since it's going to be uh, it's the longest song, and it's going to be kind of like the grand finale of this series. And I, I wish it. I wish to this day I still wouldn't have heard "All Hope Is Gone" and uh, Five the Great Chapter" because those are two phenomenal albums that you guys would have loved to have seen. Um, and I know I would have genuinely enjoyed them since I listened to those records a lot. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and check out Eeyore. I believe it's called Eeyore. I could be wrong. Uh, I guess we'll. I don't actually see them. I like pronouncing it anywhere in the song. But apparently Eeyore is the secret track at the end of Scissors after some ad-lib dialogue at the 1630 mark. On the 10th anniversary edition, it is given its own track, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and check out Eeyore. Eeyore, Eeyore, I don't know how to pronounce this. I doubt it's the Winnie the Pooh kind. Okay. Spitting them bars. Drum work at the end here. Some stuff going on. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of I don't know what is how I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to say that for the lyrical analysis. I don't know what is going on in this song in terms of lyrics. Let's go look and back in at uh, verse one. Oh, meet the man that made me greet the can I came from. Oh, the sacred heart of Jesus. Blew it in the back room, feel, feeling like a real goon. Slam the blank aside, man. I'm on your knot. I don't really know <laughs> what's going on in terms of lyrics. Uh, I will say that the music itself, though, was pretty cool. There was a lot of really cool riffs in here, and I like Corey Taylor's screaming. Um, it's one thing that um, sort of, like, I don't know. I like it both ways. I like his more refined style that he started with... Um, Volume 3, and then I like the, the previous version as well, too. It was a more raw and guttural sound. Um, I definitely like that one as well. But if I had to pick between them, um, I honestly prefer the, the later version. The um, the more refined style. I guess it's because, you know, it's the one I, I first, like, heard Slipknot with. I guess you could say that. But there's also some absolutely amazing songs from the pre-Volume 3 days as well. This is, uh, I wouldn't say this is in my top five. It was kind of an interesting one, um, but me, uh, so I don't really care if profanity is in music. It's just when it's way overboard that I just, I don't really care for it. And this is definitely one of those songs. Uh, there's a lot of Slipknot songs that have tons of profanity that um, I don't mind and I, I listen to quite a bit. But this is definitely probably not one I'm going to be listening to. Um, I thought it was musically a very good song, but just the, the lyrics killed it for me. It didn't make any sense, to, at least to me. Uh, that, that happens sometimes in Slipknot songs. Uh, but if I had to rate it on a music, I'm going to give this about uh, three and a half. I'm sorry. I got to gotta be kind of honest. This, re this really wasn't one I enjoyed. Uh, I thought there was some really cool stuff that was happening with the, uh, the instruments. But other than that, um, I really didn't care for this song. It's uh, probably not one I will be revisiting, so uh, do apologize if it's one you were looking forward to and you'd hope I would have liked. It's definitely not one I'm, uh, I I want to be listening to again. So without further ado, guys, if you guys want to leave a dislike on this video, you guys are more than welcome to. But uh, that's going to be my analysis for this song. It was good, but uh, it could have been a lot better. And so with that out of the way, guys, this has been Christ, and I will conclude this video here. Look out for Stone Sour's Orchid later today. And yeah, this has been Christ. I will.